All right, cheers, folks. This is Instant Screaming. Let's try to find you a horror movie to watch tonight. Up today are The Diabolical and Visions, both available on Netflix. First up is The Diabolical, which is a sci-fi horror that uh, definitely goes way more sci-fi towards the end, but the horror aspects of it are very, very good. So it's basically set up like a poltergeist haunted house plot that has a mystery that they uncover until it turns into a sci-fi style science run amok plot with a crazy time travel element, which is actually a fun thing to see if you are a little bit of a sci-fi nut but also want to watch a horror movie. Uh, I don't feel like either of the two elements really step on each other's feet because if you watched any of the old sci-fi horror movies in the 80s, those creature effects uh, were really quite disturbing and would fit in very well in any sort of monster movie creature feature sort of thing. So in The Diabolical, Allie Larder plays a single mother with two kids who is dating a local science teacher, and uh, they start having strange things happen to their house where these crazy bloodied creatures will show up. And uh, then as they start investigating further, more sort of stock, tic stock typical uh, poltergeist things start to happen. But there's also the, um, the, the science and the sci-fi element where the, the, the big evil science corporation in town is for some reason trying to buy out their house and they send their worming guy. And, she's trying to figure out what their interest is and she's thinking of taking it because uh, she's behind on her bills and, you know, it's just a kind of a lot of the standard uh, reasons for characters to be trapped in locations that aren't uh, stable it's uh, a fun little mystery and it's fairly entertaining to watch it's got a cool little twist at the end and it definitely doesn't handle any of that badly if you're a horror fan the creature effects are really good although the rest of the Haunting and poltergeist activity is a little bit rough around the edges, kind of low budget. But it actually does a pretty good job of making sure that its two genres cross over and merge fairly well without either one stomping on the other too hard. Nothing in the movie is actually bad. If I do want to have a complaint about it, it's, uh, the character writing is a little bit odd. The family seems to be totally cool with the way that the hauntings are presented to them. It, it seems like they're almost used to hallucinating and when the creatures show up they're just like close their eyes and chant until it goes away which is a little bit of an odd reaction and doesn't quite feel uh, realistic and identifiable but if that's the only thing that i can complain about in your movie you've probably done a pretty good job and the second movie up on today's instant screaming is visions directed by kevin greutert the uh, the editor for saws one through five director of saw six and director of Jezebel, and the movie is about a young couple with a pregnant wife who have decided to start over after a traumatic accident and uh, open a winery on a vineyard that they've purchased. So the majority of this movie is the couple settling into their daily lives on the vineyard, trying to figure out the rhythm, uh, getting to know the locals, um, dealing with these very, very specific hauntings that happen uh, to mainly the wife while well, she's alone on the property. And there's a very strange, kind of out of nowhere subplot concerning somebody at the wife's uh, yoga class that is actually very important to the twist, which actually seemed gratuitous and not really necessary at all. They could have they could have completely gotten away with it being something else than what it was. And I think having it be what it was makes it more confusing than it needed to be, or more complicated. I'll give the movie some points for the acting, which I did enjoy, and I also enjoyed the reveal of the origin of the haunting activity. I thought that was pretty good, a good way to explain why it was those very specific things that were going on. But I feel like overall the plot was a little bit too complicated, and the soundtrack, when it did happen to have a scare scene, was a little bit too in your face. It got too close to the, we'll die everything down so now we can blast you and startle you cheap jump scare. But I can't think of anything from the movie that's actually bad, so if you are interested in watching it, you could definitely go ahead and not regret the decision. Although for my money, between the two movies that I've talked about today, I would rather go and watch The Diabolical. The plot is just a little bit more interesting and the creature effects are more fun to see. So that's it for today's Instant Screaming. Hopefully this helps you figure out what you want to watch tonight. If you have any questions or comments about the movies that I've talked about today, please leave them below. If you have any suggestions for movies that you want to see on the show, please leave those below if you like the show. 
Uh, please like or subscribe if you want to support the show. Check out our Patreon site. Anyway, cheers, folks. Thanks for checking out Instant Screaming, and uh, stay tuned for more.